Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at Wise Disc Cleaner, the 7 series. You're probably wondering why another disc cleaner? I've got one that I'm happy with. Well a lot of them tend to be pretty conservative. This one is a little bit different. It goes in depth, has a great defragment program with it and some other options including a scheduler as you can see right here. It has default files and traces already ready to go however you can expand these and look through and make sure that there's something in there that you might want to add or something in there that's being cleaned that you don't want to however in my tests I have not had to change anything in here it works fine the way it is I've also found that after using other drive cleaners that this will pull out a lot of stuff that other drive cleaners tend to skip it's a very fast program you simply hit the start scan it finds some files of course in my case I've been playing with the program before the video so it's not finding a real lot simply hit the start cleaning I think you'll be real surprised at how fast it is one of the fastest drive cleaning programs I've used now here's where we get a little further in you have your advanced cleaner your advanced cleaner is going to let you go through and scan your system for different things and see what it can find it's basically going to end up finding temp files uh, I've found a lot of dump files uh, crash logs um, different things from games that are temporary files that you're not seeing here now that I've seen over time. Uh, I think the last time I ran it I cleared 700 megs out. So you just simply hit the start cleaning as you can see how fast it was. Now here's something a little unique which is a slimming system. Once again my computer is pretty clean but I found it'll pull out stuff like uh, Windows installer files, Windows help files, a lot of different files that you don't need on your system and it can actually speed things up by removing all these getting a lot of extra files out there pretty neat your disk defragment as you can see both my drives are set up by default and if you've done any kind of disk defragmentation before you know you simply defragment full optimization I think analyzes off the screen a little bit there uh, your obvious options like shut down after disk defrag and you have your legend here where it shows you the colors so when it comes up on the screen you'll be able to see what each block means something most of you are probably all familiar with and finally let's take a quick look at settings there's some pretty neat stuff in here there's obviously check for your updates which you know it's probably fine the way it is at weekly you can do your secure delete which means it's going to overwrite stuff over and over again so that when you actually delete it it's physically not recoverable auto run is slick too I like this a lot it basically adds a switch creates a shortcut to your desktop by simply doing the create clean with one click icon include the advanced cleaner click OK and it'll put an icon over on your desktop so now you don't have to go through and go through this step this step this step it'll do it all for you in one step there's your exclusion which most drive cleaners have in this case it avoids the whole Windows directory you can add a file you can add a folder for example if you work a lot of always advise people to take something like your documents folder if you have a lot of documents in there for work and make sure that you just ignore that folder there's no point messing around why take the chance it's so easy to do okay basically that's it so once you've got this set up if you set up that clean with one click it's fast it's easy it's going to update for you it's going to run it on a scheduler for you it is completely free so I think you give it a shot after you run some of your favorite drive cleaners and run this and see what it can do I think you'll be as impressed by its speed and how thorough it is as I was give it a try let us know there's a download link in the location uh, description of the video sorry alright thanks we'll see you next time